knew the mob wouldn't go down without a fight, but this is different. They've crossed the line. You crossed the line first, sir. You squeezed them, you hammered them to the point of desperation. And in their desperation, they turned to a man they didn't fully understand. Well, criminals aren't complicated, Alfred. We just need to figure out what he's after. With respect, Master Wayne, perhaps this is a man you don't fully understand either. A long time ago, I was in Burma. My friends and I were working for the local government. They were trying to buy the loyalty of tribal leaders by bribing them with precious stones. But their caravans were being raided in a forest north of Rangoon by a bandit. So we went looking for the stones. But in six months, we never met anyone who traded with him. One day, I saw a child playing with a ruby the size of a tangerine. The bandit been throwing them away. So why steal them? Well, because he thought it was good sport, because some men aren't looking for anything logical, like money. They can't be bought, bullied, reasoned, or negotiated with. Some men just want to watch the world burn. Richard Dent. Patrick Harvey. Harvey Dent. I need ten minutes with the scene before your men contaminate it. Us contaminated? It's because of you these guys hey, are dead detective. in the first... Give us a minute, Rod. That's Brooke underneath. Gonna take ballistics off a shattered bullet? No. Fingerprints. We're gonna do do it fast. Because we found his next target. He's put it in tomorrow's paper. I'm not sure you made it loud enough, sir. 